Zapier lets you create automated workflows called Zaps, which send your information from one app to another. You can create your own Zaps from scratch without any coding knowledge, but we also offer quick templates to get you started. If you'd like to start with a template, click on the Zap template in the link below, and you'll be taken to the Zapier editor. To get this all set up, start by clicking the top trigger. From there, I'll need to log into my Gmail account. The first time we set up Gmail, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Google account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. We'll then need to set up our trigger apps data. Under label slash mailbox, select the label you'd like to use for your zap. I'll select inbox and then I'll click continue. Click test trigger and you're all set with the first step. Click continue and our first action step will appear. In order to use the OpenAI app, we'll need to create an API key and connect it to Zapier. To do this, go to your OpenAI page. Click the top right button of your screen and then select View API Keys on the dropdown. Click Create New Secret Key and then copy the key and paste it onto your authorization screen. Make sure you save the key in case you need it again, as you won't be able to view it a second time. Once you're logged in, we'll need to set up our Action Apps data. In the Prompt field, Write out what you would like to send OpenAI. I'll type in a custom message. I'll type, can you please generate three business email responses in English that are friendly but still appropriate for the workplace? The email topic is, comma, and then I'll click body plane on the drop-down menu. Then I'll type, keep up my responses under 250 words each, and then I'll click continue. Click test action, and we can move on to our second action step. Authenticate your app once more, and we'll be directed to fill out some details. We'll want to set up the way our draft emails will look. Under Subject, click Subject under the drop-down menu. Under To, select From Email under the drop-down line. Under From Name, type in what you want your sender name to be. I'll type Zapier. Last, under Body Text, click Choice Text. Then I'll click Continue. Click Test Action, and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, anytime we receive an email prompt from a customer, three pre-written draft emails will automatically be set up. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps than thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.